guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is Thursday. This is Friday. I really, my God, I didn't vlog this week. I really didn't and I wanted to, but yet I just couldn't, I, I, you know, how you're like, this isn't interesting. Why would I vlog it? But here we are. Okay, so we're in the vehicle. <clears throat> I'm just getting ready to leave. It's 9.36, I have an appointment at 10, uh, which means I really should get going. But <clears throat> I took yesterday and today off. So what I tend to do is I don't, I, like I don't take any time off in the summer. It's just silly too for me. It's so busy and then you just jam up the rest of your week and nobody wants that. So, I take my time off a day or two at a time in the fall. Last week, I took Tuesday and Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, and this week I took Thursday and Friday. So, I'm, I've been pretty productive. It's been pretty good. Yesterday, I did stay home all day. However, I feel like I got quite a bit done. I also did a seven mile run, which is my longest to date. Um, I went to bed last night dreaming of doing a three mile easy trail run today. Um, there's a couple of trails not that far from my house. One of them, they're all <clears throat> like a kilometer and a half. So I thought, how much fun would it be? And I think they're quite close together. I've never done those ones because they're the easy ones and I was hiking them. But the easy ones would be really cool to run. So we'll see. We'll see. It would be cool if I could run them. But um, probably not on these knees today because they're a little sore. Nothing like, I didn't hurt myself, but nothing. They're just sore from seven miles I mean it was 90 minutes or a little more so yeah I might I might have to take it easy today but I did go to bed last night kind of dreaming of that so we'll see it might happen um also might go for a run with a friend this weekend not sure what her schedule is like um she she is a runner I'm I'm a runner I flail around um I just kind of show up um she like she runs, so we'll we'll see. We'll see about that. But I do need to do this next three miles. You probably, really, do you care about this? Tell me if you care about this. This just happens to be what's happening in my life right now. You don't have to care about it, truly. Um, but I'm trying to do my short run each week. So this week, that would be three miles. <clears throat> I'm trying to do it outside because I haven't run outside and running outside is damned hard. So I did my three miles at the beginning of the week outside. It was ugly, it was ugly. I walked like four times. Like it was, uh, it was ugly. Um, I have no business running outside. But I did sign up for a 10K, I probably already told you this, but I did sign up for a 10K in October. Um, so I'd rather not like flop around like a fish out of water, you know, look kinda like a fool. So I gotta go, it's 9.39. I'm really not that far away from my appointment, but my anxiety tells me that I have to go. And I gotta get some of these windows cleaned off. I'm still trying to get used to my vehicle having the window things in the middle. It's weird. Anyway, gotta go. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, done my appointment, I'm at the salon. Let's see see these. Oh, my stuff is in my ultrasonic cleaner. I'm gonna get that out because I did want, I think the cuticle bit, because I'm going to have to do my cuticles, which is the bane of my existence, but I don't know why I want these nails done so badly, but I'm gonna go hang out with my friend Jamie tomorrow, and if you guys don't follow her already, I will link her down below. She has a YouTube channel as well. And she lives about an hour away from me, which is really inconvenient. But, <laughs> so I'm going to see her tomorrow. We are going sort of shopping, like a little bit of birthday shopping. So I'm just pushing these back. 
you know, to the best of my abilities. Because my abilities are short-lived today, probably, if, I'm, if I had to guess. So the idea in my head, we know how this goes, the idea in my head is I want to use something long and weird on my long weird hand. But then I have these email couture short square full tips like gel X situations. And yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna do those on this hand because I generally don't have that hand done. And with having both hands undone as of late, I've been picking. And I've been picking a lot. So I'm literally just going to clip down any acrylic that I have left for length. Ow, I went a little far there. Um, just to get it off of there. And this is, this is not a, oh, this is how you do gel X tutorial. This is a, this is how I do my own nails as a nail tech when it wasn't maybe necessarily what I wanted to do today. That's what this is. Well, it was, I want them done. I still want to do them, you know? So clipping off the rest of the old acrylic, they were off, but shortening them way down because my nails grow fast and then all of a sudden it feels like I've just done them and they need done again. So I do not have any nail glue here. I'll be putting these on the gel X way. If I have any that come off, I, I should probably stop at the distributors tomorrow and just get some glue because it's almost always needed. Um, I'm not gonna prep these yet. First I'm gonna size them. And I need to figure out what am I gonna put. I have medium oval. I have medium coffin and I have long square. Not really looking for long square. Oh, and I might have stiletto. I think I have stiletto. Yep, ring finger is number seven in the email couture. Pinkies. And number nine. Uh, if I had to guess. I'm gonna go with the number six for middle. Mm, maybe a number five. Yep, number five for middle. So probably number six for, yep. And for the thumbnail. I know there was a lot of, ooh, number four was better. I know there was a lot of like spicy information going on out there for a while about Enio Couture because they were having trouble getting their orders shipped out and all that. But um, I didn't have that problem, but I ordered this stuff a long time ago. Like I've had this Enio Couture stuff since I was doing press-ons. So it's been a while. So I have sculpted coffin. Natural square long. I don't want to wear that long. Do I? Oh, I kind of do. Kind of do. I mean, I can always shorten them later, but. I actually do not know why this is so hard. I really love these oval, and to be honest, I'd love to have the long sculpted oval. These are the medium natural, and I love them. All right, let's just be practical about it. I'll wear the oval. Shit, I have a list. I have it written down what sizes I use so that it's easier and it's at home because it's in my book and my book is at home. Darn it. That's all right. We'll just, one last check on the sculpted oh, mm, coffin here. Why, why is this difficult? Like, 
why is this difficult? So I asked you guys on Instagram what I should be doing for nail art on these. And y'all kind of answered with like tarot card sort of situation, which is kind of what I was aiming for. Now that I'm here, I'm a little hungry. If you know, you know. <laughs> See, where I'm going to have those squares on the other hand, I just don't think that I should wear the long coffin. Or the, it's not long coffin, it's actually medium coffin. Why am I like this, guys? Why is this so hard? Oh my god, my knuckles all scunned up. It's like the third time I have like taken a chunk out of a knuckle without even realizing. No idea what's happening. No, okay, I'm just no. Do 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 this. This 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 that. Okay. So I will film this for you because it it's not plugged in. I will fill this film some of this for you, um, the application of the actual gel X because some of you have asked for it. So I'm just gonna start with this. The first thing I am going to do is take an old drill bit. So this is a drill bit that's been like used and it is um, softer than it used to be. And I am going to prep the underside of the tip. So just in the well where the tip is going to hit my natural nail, I am going to prep it a little bit and then wipe it. After I wipe it, I am going to, I've already actually done this, but I'm going to buff my nails, same as you would on putting gel or acrylic. I'm gonna prep the nails. I am going to use number one and number two from the upper nail system, the pH bonder and the primer. I'm also going to prime the underside of the tip. And then I am going to use the Gel X tip adhesive and my light. So this is my kind of remote curing light that I can use when you're not going in the light. Now I don't trust this to give a full cure. This is not something that I would trust to use as a full on sort of thing, but it is really great for this sort of situation. All right, let's get these tips prepped. themselves on the left hand so the longer nails the oval ones and <sighs> I'm losing steam I really wanted to do nail art on these we'll see we'll see but I'm gonna get the second hand on I'm not gonna drag you through that um, but I'm watching Sarah's Nail Secrets newest vlog I think it came out yesterday I've got it blown up but I think it came out yesterday um, I'm tr trying to film a TikTok at the same time. It's not really working. I'm not very good at filming TikToks on TikTok. I need to just start filming them on my phone and editing them the way I edit and going from there. But anyway, that is what I'm doing. So let me put the cover on that. Okay, so I literally have these done. So I'm just going to take the little tabby things off the top just to get them gone. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is, but after I get this hand on, I'm gonna do this hand first, and then I'm going to, I'm going to take a fine drill bit, and I'm gonna buff down around the cuticle to make everything really nice and flush, 
and then I'm going to rough up because they are very slick and shiny and I'm gonna polish them I've really 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 been wanting to wear a red and I have a couple new reds um, so I might do that even though I know I'm gonna hate it because that's what happens but I might just put that on there and I may just put the same color on this hand we'll see oh, I hate being so indecisive I would love to put a red on of the unbelievable gels, but I don't have one yet. I have pinks, but I don't have a red. But I do have a couple of really nice reds. I have red Camaro. I have all my reds like right here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why am I like this? Okay, so I just finished these so i have a short square from Eno couture on here um my nail beds are really funny lengths like this is like super short barely above my skin this is like kind of long there's still dust under there <laughs> i haven't washed them yet and like middle one's kind of long this one not so much like they're all the same length my nail beds are such different lengths and i'm finding that with clients lately um no, not just lately, but I'm just finding that with clients as well. You know, sometimes they'll like, they're looking and they'll look this way. And I kind of try to encourage them to look this way because this is where you're actually going to see. Like I look at that and I see that these are all the same length. They're, they're great. They're all the same length. They're even. But if I look at them this way, like they're not at all. So anyway. That's just a little thing I've noticed, but I do, I do have different on this hand. It's a little bit longer. Um, really, really, really love this color. It is called Red Camaro Glitter Bells. Um, Nail Throne is linked down below. My code is Liquid Chrome, and it gets you 10% off. Um, they've just kind of revamped their website a little bit. It looks freaking amazing, and. Um, they have a little area for uh, sale every Friday. They update it, so you should go check that out. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures of these. I'm watching YouTube right now, and actually, I'm I'm getting pretty like getting some inspiration from this makeup artist that I'm watching. I love her, and I, my friend Amy just kind of introduced me to her last week or two weeks ago, and I've been like obsessed ever since. So. Um, I'm watching her pretty well nonstop. I've kind of watched all of her vlogs first and then I kind of went into the makeup videos. Sometimes I don't care about makeup videos because I mean they're fun to watch every once in a while but they're really not my like niche. But um, yeah, watching hers and I really like them. God, I don't know why I look so bad today. I've got like, like I'm packing bags. That's pretty much all I know. I just finished drinking my like liter of iced coffee over there. I do want to show you though, just a second. So I do want to show you a couple of things that, wow, you guys are like rocking and rolling. Okay, so I do want to show you a couple of things that I brought in for retail. My clients love this stuff and I love this stuff. I took some of it home, used it last night. Chef's kiss. So I have foaming milk bath. This is toasted marshmallow. The one I took home last night and used was lavender and honey. Oh, it's amazing. Then bath bombs, like, Look at how cute that is. It's a full on cupcake and like this is my hand, like it's huge. And then I have three different kinds of body wash and it's like whipped and it's like piped. Let's see if we can get this to focus. It's like piped into the jar and like look at that. I don't, oh, I wish, I wish you could smell through the camera. It smells so amazing. So I have Cherry Royale, Lemon Ring Pie, and Caribbean Coconut, and then there's some more out in the store. Um, so that, oh my god! Oh no. Oh, you guys. Oh, man, down. My little lime fell off the tree. Oh no, that's so sad. 
lime is thrown away. I'm putting my jacket back on because I want I want the jacket in the picture. So I'm gonna take a picture of these nails. I think I have all the dust off of them. And I'm going to use my big camera, I think. Yeah, it has a memory card in it, okay. online to get the right memory card back in it I put the pictures over on to my iPad we'll see if they're there yep sometimes it takes a second like you go to look for them and they're not there so I've actually gone through the trouble of uploading them again and then they've been on there twice it's like it just takes a minute right so I am going to upload those into PicMonkey which is where I edit from it's where I edit photos from and I do have the purchased I do pay the yearly fee to be able to use it and it upgrades you to have different um, things on there that you can't do with the free and do I use them not all of them not all the options I should I don't um, but I do think I will someday. Like there are a few things on there that have piqued my interest that I do want to mess around with at some point. So. All right, so I'm gonna wait for those to upload. <laughs> I wasn't gonna buy my lunch today, but my friend said that she got Chinese food and now I'm like, I want all the Chinese food. I really want wonton soup. We'll see. Woo, you guys are rocking. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It's fine. 